Hi guys, Lana and I are going to the Cornbread Festival today. <laughs> I am trying my first cornbread salad. Let's see what we think. It looks savory though. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. No? <laughs> Can I try a bite? There's bacon no in it. Oh. For Shane. No thanks. No, no, no. Actually, yeah, no, it's I pretty good. I like that. I'll share. Success. Thank you. That kid right there, that's his dad. So it's Sunday morning. It feels humid. It's already in the 70s. We're going to get up into the 80s again today. Um, as I had mentioned, we have two days of like 90% showers coming. And so it was the perfect time for me to, uh, you know, to get my weed and feed out. Um, I was looking at this and if you could see here that this is supposed to last for three months. Last year I was coming out the first of every month and I was sprinkling it all over. So I used half of this container um, just in this one feeding. So anyway, anyway, and earlier this morning I came out and my porch containers here, let's see, my porch containers here, I gave um, them their weed and feed this morning too. Let me now you're watching me adjust a camera stand. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so everything got, um, it, it got some plant food today and we've got some heavy rain coming. So everything's going well. I'll show you one more thing since I'm sitting here. These, this collection here, this one is coneflower. I have three plants started in here. I'm not ready to um, repot it yet because I have to pick up some potting soil. And these are jalapeno plants. So I have two in each container that will get separated also when I get some potting soil. Uh, but my daughter, Shane, she likes to play with seeds and she started these at home. And she's like, do you want some? And I'm like, do I? So I'm pretty excited about this. I'm happy to see they're doing well. I've been hardening them off. They've been up in the house in the sunny window all day. And so this week I've been bringing them in and out. And now they're out in the full weather all the time. And we're not having any more... Uh, freezing temps, it looks like, overnight, so I don't even have to worry about that. But good news, good news. The most exciting thing I want to show you though is 
not my popsicle plant. Look at how pretty that is. I don't know if it'll turn out as orange or not because of the focus and the filtering. Um, but of course, this is blooming early because it was greenhouse grown. But next year, all three of them will bloom at the same time. But what I wanted to show you was my iris here. I planted all of these uh, last year and you saw me in one of my other videos, I kind of rearranged them so they were evenly spread behind the boxwood here. None of the other ones have blooms except for this one. And I'm just so excited about it because I really didn't expect even one of them to bloom this year. So this is a pleasant surprise. I love a good bag of potting soil. Nothing makes me happier than a new bag of potting soil because that means I get to plant more plants. But my plants today are not flowers. I am planting ooh, the jalapeno seedlings that Shane had started. This is the uh, container I'm gonna use. This is the one that I had the wheatgrass growing in for my cat. And she did enjoy it. She kind of nipped on it and she'd rub her head into it. She didn't walk on it and play on it like I thought she might. But the grass was starting to turn yellow and stuff, which meant it had lived its life. So I got rid of it. I just threw it out because it was just the easiest thing to do. But now uh, this container, it's, its turn is going over towards my jalapenos. I have eight plants. There are two in each container. I'm going to very gingerly try to separate them and evenly spread them out here understand that this is probably not going to be large enough for eight plants but this is what i have so this is what i'm doing and you know as far as i'm concerned everything's an experiment and let's just see what happens oh here we go here's plant number one All right, so all of their roots are all of their roots are grown together as one. So I'm just going to go ahead and plant this as one plant. So we get one. Let's see what happens with this one. Oh, I just don't want to take them apart. That's all right. Let's just keep going. I'll be happy those are close. Okay, here we go. Two plants. Woo! Okay, let's get these babies in the dirt. I'm planting them a little deep um, with the hope that this stem will branch out into roots as well and if the stem branches out into roots that's going to give it an even stronger root base so that's my hope if not it's just another experiment that i've learned something new about um and, and it is because honestly because most of most of my gardening experience is um with perennials and bulbs and tubers so it's all the things that grow back every single season. So anything that's on an annual level, I have real minimal experience with because I've just never played with that stuff. And that goes from annual flowers to uh, vegetable gardens. I've never been a vegetable garden person, um, but you know, when somebody's like, I got jalapeno plants, I'm, yes, don't ask me twice. And oh gosh, you guys, you can make fun of me in the comments <laughs> because um, my spacing is awful here. But um, guess what? <laughs> this is nice and moist in here. It's good enough. It's a let's, you know, let's we'll see, man. I, I I'm hoping for a really healthy crop, like so many that I don't know what to do with. Because if I don't, if I have so much, I don't know what to do with. Then that means I'm a very happy camper. So let's do this. Hi, Julia. 
But there we go. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, if you look at it that way.